Today's video is brought to us in part by the generosity of LuckyGunner.com. For the best selection of name brand defensive ammunition and lightning fast shipping on bulk target ammo, head to LuckyGunner.com and thank them for being a sponsor of Active Self Protection. Guys, I'm here with Andrew from Surefire. You know, I, I love Surefire lights and um, I got a couple of new ones. They got, you guys are constantly innovating. It's constant new stuff of even better. So I'm gonna show you a couple. I'm gonna briefly mention um, this XVL2. Uh, not, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here. If you're a cop or you're military, this is for operating under knots, okay? This is low light operating. Uh, you got, uh, you know, your uh, low light, laser, your, your IR stuff here. This is where you wanna go. If I was a cop running under knots, I definitely want that <laughs> on my pistol. Enough with that. Talk to me about the, the new XR1. That is an exciting light. Yes, sir. So you're familiar with the XC1, the XC2, yep. mm -hmm. similar concept. It's a similar footprint to the XC2, and both the XR1 and the XR2 are the same exact footprint. Uh, what you have is a, a rechargeable, and it's a magnet dongle that'll clip onto the other side. Yeah, I showed you where the charging port basically is. So, okay, a couple things again, internets. Tagged out guns, quit freaking out, it's a non-functional gun. Yep. But this guy is a rechargeable light, so you're not popping batteries in and out of this thing, and Correct. you're running a high output rechargeable battery, which gives you? 600 lumens. 600 lumens. So, Look, so if I'm here, you have a, a it's kind of hard to see here, but you have a ridiculous amount of light coming out of something this little. Yep. It's awesome. I mean, for, for CCW, for even home defense, it's a significant amount of light. We, we doubled what the XC1 was yeah. by having uh, you know the rechargeable battery. There's also two LEDs. Um, you know, obviously we're gonna have to flag the camera, but like again, I say tagged out guns. We're all right. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, two reflectors, um, 600 lumens. Like I said, pretty much the same footprint as an XC2, uh, and both the XR1 and the XR2 are are the same uh, footprint exactly. Obviously, or not obviously, but the XR1 is the light only version, yep. and then we'll jump over to the XR2 which is the light laser combination. Um, and this is a green laser. A lot of people have been asking. Um, so you can see it right here. See a green laser, if I pop that. Maybe I go to the floor. Yeah, we go there. So floor you see is a green laser. visible. Um, but yeah, as far as pricing goes, that's TBD, but it's probably gonna be exactly the same or, or wow. very close to what the XC1 and the XC2 are. So Amazing. roughly in the $300 range for the XR1 and roughly 450-ish dollars for the XR2. Um, this is gonna be coming towards the beginning of Q2, realistically. And, and I mean, so I'm saying, I've told people before, like the XC1, I like the XC1, and it was a fine light. 300 lumens, you're like, it's probably okay for CCW. Correct. But we always want more, and yeah. I just, man, you get to the 600 lumen range in a package this little, that's yeah. something you could put on a CCW gun. Max vision beam yep. on this, so I wouldn't use it as a duty light. For duty light, you're gonna go U-boat. X300 Ultra. You know, you're gonna go X300 Ultra, especially the new one that's like so bright, it's got recoil. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, for, for a CCW, for a home defense gun, perfect. Because with this max vision beam, it's like, let there be light. You know, it's Aziz, and the whole room is filled up. Freaking love that. And 100%. Then, and then he's showing off to me the new Stiletto Pro. I yeah. love this! So form factor is going to be the same as the current stiletto um, in that we have a bezel switch that you can get multiple outputs uh, from. So you can get a low, a medium, and a high. And then there's also a tail cap switch, more of a tactical switch, uh, that'll go to high. But you can reprogram it, the switching. Uh, there's five different preset programs to choose from. So you can have it you know, run just like you want it, have each switch do what you want it to do. Uh, the Pro is up to 1,000 lumens now. So the, the original stiletto is 600 lumens. This is 1,000. Another change is the body is aluminum and the pocket clip is reversible. So some people were asking for the ability to place the pocket clip on the other side because they wanted to carry it bezel down. Um, I like it in the stock configuration. I do too. Because I throw it on a hat as a headlamp. But for those that want to flip the, the pocket clip around, you have the capability to do so now. Right. So pretty I, awesome. Man, the, I, I had the, the original one. I, I still have actually Neil, our director of marketing, is using it, and at 600 lumens, it's a great light, and a really versatile pocket light, yep. because it's so thin, it, it it just carries easy, Yep. and it goes everywhere, but now at 1,000, that's that's starting to be a, a formidable light. That's yep. starting to get to be, you know, a visual barrier and a photonic barrier, and that's amazing. I, I keep trying to get him to let me have his, but it's he number five. He keeps trying to walk away with I it, am. and I keep having to pull this back, and I'm oh, already right. missing two suppressors from you. All right, talk to me about the can. So we have our 300 tie suppressor. And go ahead and 
feel uh, that guy. This, it's so light. I, it's, it's ridiculous how light this is. Yeah. So it's a 11 ounces. 11 ounce can. It's full titanium. Obviously, the locking ring still aluminum, still a steel latch, but everything that matters, yeah. everything, the bulk of it is full titanium. It's based on our 300 SPS suppressor, which was a 300 blackout suppressor, but also our best uh, multi-caliber suppressor. Right. So you could bounce around from you know 762 all the way down to 556. Now, obviously, because this is full titanium, it's not quite as durable as the the standard suppressor. But as long Don't as you're do not full doing auto mag dumps. exactly, as long as you're not doing mag dumps, you're going to be fine uh, for the majority of applications. So super lightweight, um, you know, it's just under eight inches, seven point nine inches. Uh, good option for, for for multiple calibers, especially three hundred blackout, super lightweight. Well, and if you're running a can like this on a rifle. You know, I mean, when you got a big heavy can hanging out the end of that rifle, after a while, man, it gets hard to hold that Absolutely. rifle up. So, so even three, four, five ounces of difference can make a huge difference. It's a world of difference. Huge it's, difference. it's exactly where you know you want to cut weight, the muzzle of the gun. So. And quick disconnect, so you can get it on and off. Yep. And yep. a consistent point of aim shift. Exactly. I mean, we test fire every suppressor we make. Uh, it's a minimum point of impact shift. It's not going to be any more than a, than a minute at 100, and it's 100% repeatable. So if you, you know, if it's a little bit low, if it's a half inch low at 100, yeah. it's going to be completely repeatable. You take that can off, put it on another gun, and when you go back to shoot that original gun, it's going to hit exactly where you had it zeroed before. So if you remember on the channel, we've had Barry Duke on the channel before, yep. and he's talked about the fact that for most people, they go, well, how many decibels? But actually, that's not the most important thing. The no. most important thing is, is repeatability of point of aim and point of impact. Yeah. And then, what is it doing to the harmonics? What's it doing? Durability, durability. reliability. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then quiet, yep. which of course you want it to be hearing safe. That's Correct. why you put the hearing protection on the gun. Yeah. Uh, but, but man, that's, the lightness of this is incredibly impressive. Yeah. One of these guys shipping. This will be shipping at the end of Q1, actually, so not too far off. It's, it's basically the same design as our 300 SPS, like I mentioned before. So that it's, we're not reinventing the wheel. So it, it, it's pretty much, you know, all the R&D is pretty much done. Uh, it's just a full titanium version, so yeah. You know, I, I haven't gotten much into the suppressor game because I hate tax stamps. That's just honest truth. But I've heard that they're actually getting a little easier to get come by. Yeah. Well, the government's shut yeah, down. Yeah, a little bit of shutdown that. right now, but problems. But you know, hopefully we get that taken care of, and and maybe that. Yeah, that's amazing. Always innovating, man. Awesome. And I love that stuff. So thanks for the time, bro. Thank thanks you for, for showing it to us. I appreciate it.